Hey guys, hi, this is Spirit Journey. I'm in my kitchen right now. I want to share a quick video uh, while I'm in here. I um, I don't want to forget, I was just exercising, that's why I'm wearing this outfit here, but I was just thinking about something. Um, I, As you know, I'm on a spirit journey, that's why I call my channel such, but I was thinking about these stories that you've been hearing, these uh, so-called secret projects that the government is doing and underground bases and the UFOs and aliens. And I take all those stories with a grain of salt. I really don't take it seriously. But I was just thinking about something as I was exercising about the, about what real history and history as it pertains to me and uh, my ancestors, my, my direct line. And so I started thinking with, well, as I mentioned in past videos, my background is in the Caribbean. My grandparents moved to the uh, United States about 90 plus years ago. But I was thinking, what what is the significance of the story that you hear about with slavery and that you had what was about 11 million some even say 100 million Africans were sent across the Atlantic and then that's not even including the um, slave trade that happened on the east coast of Africa and I started thinking well well initially in history well what I was taught in school in elementary school and junior high school and high school you know pretty much it was that slavery was due to because um, that there was something wrong with us and and you're not good you you're inferior and so you can just do whatever to African people but as an adult you know recently I started analyzing all the falsehoods that I was brought up believing and not logic I'm a, I'm a very logical person and things have to make sense and the idea of inferior inferiority it, it doesn't play there's a reason for everything in history and to just brush off that someone is up at, you know beneath someone else this there's, there's something more and I was wondering whether there was a real correlation between what these special projects that the U.S. is doing and the underground bases. Well, for one thing, with slits, see, I'm trying to tie in things together to make sense. Like in in slavery, you it was about resources and taking all these resources and then making products out of it. Initially, I thought, oh well, you know that that the European they needed food and this and that and and that's why they came to the Americas. But Europe was doing relatively well. And why would you? I mean, you could have just um, talked to a what do you call it, a, a the peasantry of Europe and say, hey, we'll give you some land, and you just work it and. I'm sure they would have eagerly come over, you know. So you had people there that were willing and able to work in the Americas. Yes, you know, the tropics might have been problematic, but, you know, people are resourceful and, you know, you just take matters in your own hands. But it, it, it didn't make sense, you know. And again, Europe wasn't starving. And how much supplies do you really need? You don't need a lot to live. And so the whole thing with slavery was to get an abundance of supplies, an abundance of sugars, uh, gold, uh, cotton, uh, another crop, indigo, um, tobacco. So what was it really about? So then I start, you know, I was watching a program as I was exercising about these special projects that the government was doing underground. And I was, I was starting to think that it's obvious that Europeans couldn't eat all those products. They didn't need all those products. 
But if you if you're getting an underground facility, or if you have so-called extraterrestrials who are gathering supplies, you know, and the gold, as I heard. So, where are they going to get this labor to maybe feed an, an, another colony in another planet? Well, maybe that's what slavery was really about. It wasn't about who's inferior, who's bad, or your skin color. It had nothing to do with it. But the African is a strong and very genetically diverse group. I'm starting to theorize that the African as we know them today were used as a labor force for these special secretive projects. A labor force, a labor to gather these uh, products to feed another civilization, whether it be under the earth or in some other planet. Some people even say that there's um, colonies in, um, what's that, on Mars and Venus. I'm wondering whether that's what the slave trade really was about, to gather the labor and maybe the, the people as well and send them over to other parts of the world. I mean, um, outside of this um, this terrain, you know, whether it be underground or or on another planet. It's, it sounds very wild. And you notice now that the whole propaganda about with black people, now you're seeing more movies um, with black and white unions. You had this one movie, um, that, that took place in the, was that the 1960s and about ma the um, marriage between this uh, uh, black woman and white man in Virginia. And they were called Loving, their last name was Loving. And that a, a law was passed to, uh, to, to change those laws that said that if you're of different races, you cannot uh, have a, a legal union or a marriage and they, they reversed that. So even now there's an, another movie, I think this was, uh, I, I don't remember the name, but um, I think the lady was a, a, a British woman and a, a black African, and uh, I think he was a leader of a country in Africa, and now th this movie is being promoted. So it seems like there's a paradigm shift between the old system, between so-called races and in particular black and whites and that they want to you know make it more neutral or gray you know so again why, why does slavery end it, it didn't end because of benevolence the, towards the african because when the african was um freed especially in north america that um terrorism you know further was done upon them through the lynchings and the laws that were passed that were preventing blacks from becoming um, truly independent and to flourish as a as a group. So so it wasn't because of benevolence. But like any project, you know, government project, once something is is finished, it's used, it's abandoned. And I think that's also why that the, the slavery system ended as abruptly that, that it, when it ended, it ended, you know? But you did have resentment. So it, it's just food for thought. And again, nothing happens for no reason, you know? Things happen for a reason. And so this could be one of them, you know? I know it's, it sounds very fanciful, but I'm going to stop that. Sorry about that. So that's all that I have to say. So feel free to comment below and to share this video with friends and family members. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.